how's it feel to be the Olympic champion? Uh, I mean, it's cool. It happened in a prelim, so he's he wasn't necessarily gunning to 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 win there. He's okay with me beating him. Yeah. He's got bigger things planned for the final, but it's cool to say that I I edged him there at the end. Were you gunning to beat him though? Uh, I was I, I felt like I was in control I felt like I had more left in me I also in my mind one thing my coach talked to me about beforehand he said just make sure this is the world championships you know don't don't let up at the end because uh, some guys might nip you so I, I had that in the back of my mind as well so I was making sure I was gonna get caught but I mean I won so a, a little bit smoother this yeah, time right than smoother. last time yeah, we saw you at USA's smoother. It seemed like you weren't scared to run into lane two if you had to. Was the, You knew the fitness was good and you just wanted to run safe. How yeah, that uh, that's one thing my coach actually told me before. And he said, this time, let's run in lane two. And let, let just let everyone else worry about the inside lane. So that's what I was doing during this race. And I, ha I have the fitness. I mean, I do my steeple workouts. And uh, we, we put hurdles in lane two. And so we'll do a lap with the hurdles, then a lap on, lap open, and so on and so forth. So I'm used to swinging out into lane two and hurdling, so that also helps a little bit too. Gaining a lot of confidence from today, you know, I think coming in a lot of people would say eyes on Lamecha and El Bacali. How do we feel now? You know, you obviously had a great prelim, feeling good. Do you feel like there could be a medal in your future? Uh, I mean, I, I really don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what happens. I, I think that... Uh, this year, I've been trying to not put a limit on where I can be, and that's helped me find the success that I have. So I'm, I'm not going to say that I can't get a medal. We'll have to see what happens there. I have a good finish. If the race plays out well, I, I, I might be able to kick in there for, for one. But uh, I have confidence in my fitness as well. I did a just a 2K mind trial last week at 527 up at altitude. So that's 810 pace for a 2K steeple, but it's at altitude. So I. I mean, I felt pretty good in that. So I think that I'm capable of running in that 805 range. So we'll see what happens. And I gotta recover first. But I have confidence that I, I can compete with these guys. And I mean, yeah, we'll just see what happens. It's August 19th, very long season for collegiate. Like, how are you feeling? How does your body feel this late into the summer? Um, my, I mean, really, really, it's more just like my mind playing tricks on me. It's like. I haven't raced since July, and that's why we did the 2K steeple last week, uh, was just to try and get some sort of a race under my legs again. But it's more or less just like, do I re am I really still fit? Am I like, do I still have it? That's kind of the, it's more mind games than fitness games right now. So, yeah, but I'm, I feel like I'm playing the mind games well, at least. You look good. Yeah, thanks.